Welcome to Getting Out. I'm Trey, and today, Vanessa and I are going for a short paddle in the Monadnock region of New Hampshire. This body of water is called a fan. The fan is a wetland similar to a bog. They're both acidic and have peat made up of the decaying mosses that live in them. A bog gets its water almost entirely from snow and rain, where a fen gets its water from a small stream or other natural body of water. Fens and bogs both were formed by the glaciers that covered this area during the last ice age. As the sphagnum moss in the fen dies and collects as peat, it fills the fen and blocks the source of water, eventually turning the fen into a bog. You can see down to the bottom here. You can see the bottom. A lot of this. These wetlands are home to muskrats, moose, beavers, and amphibians, but rarely fish as the water is low in oxygen and too acidic. Coming up on the peat bog. The decomposing material that forms in these acidic and anaerobic environments on these bogs. All right, Vanessa, come here. So that's the purple pitcher plant. It's got rainwater and other digestive juices of some sort inside. And the flies and whatever other bugs, wasps seem to be really interested in them, crawl down in there, fall down in there, and get digested by the juices inside of them. So those are all local. Yeah. They're obviously a native to the New Hampshire area. That moss they're in is the sphagnum moss, which dies and turns into the peat moss. And those little woody twigs with the small green and red leaves are cranberries. Um, if you come out here in other times of the year, they'll have little cranberries on them you can eat. I'm going to look for sundews now. Look at all the lily pads. They're pretty looking, but they're kind of annoying when you're out fishing. Look at this little island. See how this island is forming in the middle? All this peat coming up in the bottom. Eventually, one day, this will all be filled in. We've got some of these smaller bogs filled in like that on the property. And this will, you see we've got trees growing in parts of this. Eventually this just turned into a forest floor. Pretty cool if we saw a moose today, but I don't think we will. The old swamp donkey. <gasps> Cranberries. Hmm. There's a blueberry. So, you got some baby pitcher plants coming up here. See those little red things? That's purple pitcher plants. Super tiny. 
Older ones buried in the moss. More loving life. Let's see if we can get there's a red and a blue. It's a cranberry and a blueberry. Actually, I think those are all cranberries, so some of them are a little far gone. See them, Vanessa? Alright, so that's what the cranberries look like. Oh, just a little tart. They're not quite what you get from the grocery store, but they're not that far off. Yeah. Beach is pretty good. Show no sundews though. We've had a couple freezes, so we might not see the sundews. I think they're a little more delicate. But keep looking. You can eat them. They're too tart for me. The boat we've been paddling today is a 14-foot sports pal from the 60s or 70s. It's made of aluminum and lined with foam to make it quieter. They're very common up here in northern New England, and they can be bought new to this day. They make decent duck hunting boats, and some have a square stern to easily mount a small outboard motor. We hope you enjoyed this outing with us and look forward to seeing you on the next one.